Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. All right, what we're going to do first is we're going to look at that warm-up. So I want all eyes focused on me because it is set up where you can do it again if you don't like your grade. So if you want to get a better grade on it, now's the time to pay attention. Second thing, which I don't remember. So I'll tell you the second thing as soon as I remember. Oh, I am not an artist, so I'm not going to draw those pan balances out. I'm going to look specifically at the equations. The first equation that is on there is 8 plus 7 equals 5 plus x. This is found above the picture of the pan balance, and the directions say solve for x. x equals. Well, if we look at the equation, it's very, very simple. The equal sign means both sides of this equation have to have the same value. When you solve it, they both have to be the same. So, for example, this side of the equal sign, 8 plus 7, is 15. I need to figure out what I put in for x to make it equal 15. So, 5 plus what equals 15? And the answer is 5 plus 10 equals 15. So x is going to equal 10. So that's the first one. The second one is 2 plus z equals 4 plus 10. And what we are asked to do here is solve for z. z equals, and then we have to find the answer for z. The same thing. The equal sign means both of these have to be together. Or both of these have to have the same answer. z is just something we're picking to stand for a number. What number does z equal to make this equal sign so that both sides are the same. Well, this side, 4 plus 10 is 14. So then we have to figure out 2 plus what equals 14. And the answer is 12. So z equals 12. So this is question 2 on the warm-up. Now question three is a little, I can't draw it, and the answer choices are all words, but I can kind of draw it. So these are our two pan balances. The one on the left has four cubes. The one on the right has 12 cubes. And then the answer choices say, how can we balance this out? And it's talking about moving cubes from either the left to the right or the right to the left. So you have to look at your answer choices and see which way you would move the cubes and how many cubes would you move. So I don't remember that. Looks like we, if we moved four from this side to this side, this would be eight and this would be eight. So I think it's to move four from the right to the left, if I remember the answer choices correctly. All right. Three plus two times four. Three times two plus four equals two plus g. All right, again, the equal sign. Whatever we get on this side, needs to be the same thing we get on this side, and so we want to find out what g equals. Now this has multiple operations. It has multiplication. It has addition. You always do multiplication or division before you do addition and subtraction. Always. Siempre. Always. So we start with the multiplication, and that's 6. 6 plus 4 then equals 10. 
What was the first one again? I don't remember. You'll have to go back and watch the video when I post it. That was a long time ago. I can't remember that. So, we have 10 equals 2 plus G. So we have to figure out 2 plus what equals 10. Well, if I put an 8 there, then you'll see 2 plus 8 will indeed equal 10. And the last one... What does that one answer? Huh? What does that one answer? I, I don't know. The fourth one? Again, we have two equivalent equations, two equivalent expressions, okay? So, as I said in the last problem, these two sides need to be the same. When I do multiple operations, my multiplication always comes before my addition. So I'm going to multiply first. So then I have 3 plus 12 equals G plus 5. 3 plus 12 is 15. What plus 5 equals 15? Well, obviously, because you guys are superior math students, g must equal 10. Okay, so that's how we go on the, this is algebraic expressions. You guys are now experts on this, and if you don't get it that much, then you can always go back and watch this video. Any video I take today, I'm posting on the classroom of Google. And...